Hi, this is uh, Steve Better again from the UK. I'm just spending a little bit more time having a look at the uh, the import of 3D AutoCAD data into Inventor. So I've got a solid here inside of uh, AutoCAD. This is actually AutoCAD Mechanical 2010. But the same applies for uh, for Nilla AutoCAD as well. Um, it's you know, it's a re relatively straightforward component, but something quite typical of what a mechanical engineer might use. And that's just a straightforward DWG file that we want to bring into Inventor. But I just want to show you the different ways um, that we can actually bring this into Inventor and the different methods that we've got. So if I choose to open up the DWG data straight away, this takes us into what we call review mode inside of Inventor. Inventor knows that it's an AutoCAD DWG, whether it be 2D or 3D, so it takes us into review mode so that we can't make any modifications to it, but we can zoom, print, plot, measure, etc., um, and review the DWG file. Now if we actually want to work on the DWG data, again whether this be 2D or 3D, what we need to do is just click on the options and go to import. And this will start the DWG DXF file import wizard, where we can select the geometry that we want, and we can either select everything as I've got here, by just putting a tick in the all little box, or we can selectively choose what we want. In the import options we can specify whether we want this to go to a 3D solid, whether we want them to go into individual solids, etc. I'm just going to accept the default for the moment. And what this is actually going to do is actually going to bring all solids into one single inventor part file. Now with that option selected, what we actually end up with is a composite of surfaces inside of our inventor part file. But if we actually want this as a solid, all we've got to do is copy that composite into the construction environment and you'll see it's automatically stitched it as a single solid and then we can just copy that back out of the construction environment as a solid and we'll see that we'll end up with a base feature within our model browser on the left hand side there. Now this is a fully solid, uh, full solid with mass um, and we can treat this as any normal solid as we would do inside of Inventor. We can also use Inventor's feature recognition tools here to reverse engineer to get the feature tree for the fillets, the chamfers, the extrusions etc. Now the next method I'm going to select is again using that import method so we get the DWG DXF file import wizard but rather than specifying solids to a single part file I'm actually going to uncheck that this time and now what we'll end up with is that single solid that was in the DWG file in its own individual IPT file. Now this is really designed for when you've got multiple solids within the DWG file um, that makes up an assembly and it will create all of the IPT files for each solid and build the assembly for us. But a quick and easy way of working with AutoCAD 3D solids inside of Inventor.